To document the events of the Dawn Era is quite an imposing undertaking, filled almost entirely with conjecture and uncertainty, and yet it may be advantageous to study events even earlier back and into the Twilight Era. Though there are several interesting topics to discuss during the Twilight Era, our recent contact with the people of the Oik Shao Uparau or Hij, who I will be referring to as Chitalmink since that is what they were at the time considered here and since it's far easier to say, makes the topic of the myth of the Twilight Disparity much more interesting and pertinent. The Twilight Disparity, a term that I myself came up with to title this topic after a few years of study that I conducted when I traveled through the Chumu then into Jatalmank where I lived for some time, is an important and anomalous event in the history of Jatalmank and acts in some ways as a kind of creation myth. However, directly contrary to what I just claimed, Jatalmank doesn't have a set creation story. The best they have is the belief that they are the direct and only true remainder of the Ahu Awagoiku Or, the ancient civilization that supposedly ruled over Uthapaba prehistory, whose ruins litter the landscape. And they are the nexus from which the ancestor worship of the Ahu Awagoiku Or radiates out from and into nearby tribes. Other than that, any true origin is unknown. And oddly enough, the Ahu Awagoiku Or that they worship and supposedly come from are even less known. The only thing the Jital make know of them is from ancient oral traditions, interpretations of murals, art, and sculptures, and untranslated texts. The Jital make hope to reclaim the land and revive their once great empire, as is their supposed birthright, and to fully control and understand the ancient ruins. The only credence they have of this idea is the fact that they most certainly existed to some extent during the Twilight Era, the fact that their city is built upon and within some of these ancient ruins, and the fact that the culture of Jatalmic is unlike anything else, and they're the only known group upon Uthapaba who directly invokes a claim of name of being direct descendants of the Ahuao Oguik Or. The reason why I claim that the Twilight Disparity is a sort of creation myth is less regarding their creation for them, but rather their creation for us. According to Jatalmink, one completely mundane day, without warning or reason, a wave of bright emerald light washed over them like a wave crashing on the beach only to recede. In but a short time, the light disappeared without any noticeable change. This is an event locally known as the Green Shift, and is believed to have taken place just a few decades prior to the founding of a cow and thus the start of the Dawn Era. At first, nothing seemed to be different afterwards, it was merely a short oddity, but soon certain anomalies occurred. They started to realize that outside of the Jatalmank, it seemed as if everything changed. Entire nations and people who were recorded down for posterity seemed to disappear without a trace. Whole people ceased to exist, and in their place were tribes inhabiting barren wasteland. Jatalmank had records, many of which recently written, with people who simply didn't exist. The king of Jatalmank even had correspondences with other kings in the following days, kings that now were simply non-existent. It was as if Jatalmink was, at that moment during the Green Shift, taken out of place and set somewhere else without any explanation. To explore this idea further, I even left Jatalmink to speak to local tribes bordering the region to see if they had any kind of recollection or explanation of the Green Shift, and to my surprise, they did. Although they do not mention any kind of green wave, they did mention that according to local oral stories passed on from generations, the city and small nation of Jatalmink suddenly seemed to grow overnight, and completely replaced the culture and language of the Achuki tribe that inhabited the region, a group that really no longer exists despite the insistence that they at one point did by locals who once knew them. There does seem to be a remaining sliver of the tribe of Achuki that has all but assimilated into Jatalmink or other local tribes, but they're a shadow of what they supposedly ought to be and have no real insight on the topic other than what's already discussed. The Achuki were, and then one day, they simply weren't. To give additional evidence of this event, it seems as if, other than the ancient ruins of the Ahu Awagoiku Or and their later historic efforts leading up to the nation of the Oik Aushau Uparau or Hij that they are now, Jitalmink has no connection to the outside world. Their culture, language, religion, mythos, and ethics are entirely unlike anything outside of Jitalmink, except for local tribes who adopted the ancestor worship ideals or merged them with the Uther pantheon to create an odd mix of the two an occurrence seen prevalently within the tribes of the Uyujuina. Not only are the events following the Twilight Disparity odd, but the Green Shift itself is equally strange. What exactly was it? Why did it happen? Is it merely a metaphor of some sort? And if so, for what? What other event could completely displace an entire nation and or tribe? Is it truly related to the Ahu Awagoiku Or? 
Is the truth known but being deliberately hidden? Who truly were the Ahu Awagwegu or anyways? Questions like these are all too common and important, yet completely unanswered as far as I know from my few years of study on the topic. Whatever this event truly was, even if just a mass event of local forgetfulness, an explanation as good yet as confusing as any other, the people of Jutalmink, Nust Oik Aushau Uprau Urhij, are stuck with us, for better or for worse.